Rabies is a preventable viral disease transmitted through the bite of a rabid animal. The rabies virus infects the central nervous system of mammals, ultimately causing disease in the brain and death. Rabies virus is transmitted through direct contact with saliva or brain or nervous system tissue from an infected animal. Signs and symptoms include the following. The first symptoms of rabies may be similar to the flu, like weakness or discomfort, fever, and headache. Another is discomfort, prickling, or an itching sensation at the site of the bite. Symptoms may progress to cerebral dysfunction, anxiety, confusion, and agitation. Later symptoms, the person may experience delirium, abnormal behavior, hallucinations, hydrophobia or fear of water, and insomnia. Diagnosis Rabies in animals is diagnosed using the direct fluorescent antibody or DFA test, which aims to look for the presence of rabies virus antigens in brain tissue. Prevention Visit your veterinarian with your pet on a regular basis and keep rabies vaccinations up to date. Inform animal control to remove all stray animals from your neighborhood since these animals may be vaccinated. If you've been bitten by a rabid animal, then you'll receive a series of shots to prevent the rabies virus from infecting you. Rabies shots include a fast-acting shot or rabies immune globulin to prevent the virus from infecting you. This injection is given near the area where the animal bit you as soon as possible after the bite. A series of rabies vaccinations to help your body learn to identify and fight the rabies virus. If you haven't previously had the rabies vaccines, you'll receive four injections over 14 days. If you have had the rabies vaccine, you'll have two injections over the first three days. Post-exposure prophylaxis or PEP consists of a dose of human rabies immune globulin or Rig androbes vaccinegevin on the day of the rabies exposure, and then a dose of vaccine given again on days 3, 7, and 14. Wound care. Wound cleansing is especially important in rabies prevention. Thorough wound cleansing alone without other post-exposure prophylaxis has been shown to markedly reduce the likelihood of rabies. You should receive a tetanus shot if you have not been immunized in 10 years. Decisions regarding the use of antibiotics and primary wound closure should be in accordance with your doctor. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Goodbye.